Right, hello again, and it's been a while since I did a video, and I just wanted to show you uh, one of the devices that I basically uh, write this lovely website on. So I write a lot of these articles on Call Smartphone, and so you can see some of these here uh, about the USB-C, uh, finally maybe coming to an iPhone, uh, and basically it's all written through WordPress, which is what a lot of websites use. But I use, because 98% of my work is online now, I use um, a Chromebook. This is a Chromebook that gets the most amount of abuse at the minute. It's uh, a Toshiba, relatively cheap. You can buy these, pick these up, uh, and ones that are very similar, for about £100 off eBay. Um, they're really not expensive at all. You can have a browse around, and they operate um, extremely well. If you're doing... A lot of web-based work and let's face it many people are nowadays because um, a lot of the stuff that you need now is online you're doing spotify you get the spotify web player there's uh, various different apps you can use on your phone and a lot of chromebooks now will have android apps as well so you can fire up all your um, favorite android apps and fire them up in the chromebook great thing about chromebook is that the chrome os is relatively lightweight it doesn't really it's not really resource hungry you have only got i mean look at the prices of these like 79 pounds 89 pounds and you can use google docs to do all your um school or home work office work whatever you may want to you don't need to install the office suite anymore you can use office 365 as well that's another one that you can use and that way you can um, you can do all your editing and you know if you want to write a letter or whatever you've got excel google sheets you've got powerpoint which is also known as sheets and google and you can do everything you can see here i've got my gmail i've got a document here i can go into docs and it'll fire up docs and i can write documents in there um again all web-based and i can start a new document or project proposal i'll just click here no need to worry about saving no usb sticks or drives or anything like that no need to worry about losing your work it's all in the google cloud or in the Office 365 cloud if you choose to use that. Um, so if I go down here to the launcher, you can see I've got some other bits and bobs. So I've got my Cisco AnyConnect, so you can do work-based stuff. I've got an RDP application on here so that I can uh, RDP into Windows servers and I can basically use that as a jump off box if i wish um let's have a look on the next page down so there's a chrome rdp application here and i can use that to rdp into let's see if i can do it now this would be cool if this works um so i've got an open gateway which i will just try i'll just pause this video while i just log log in okay I can't get that working, but you get the general idea. You've got an RDP system here, and you can uh, RDP into uh, a Windows machine, and you will get all the power of your Windows server or whatever you're logging into. So what other apps have I got on here that I normally use? So yeah, I've got files, so you can see files. Obviously, so you've got Google Drive. Your files will save onto the cloud as well. I've got Dropbox, Google Maps, and uh, Calculator. Yeah, some of the bits and bobs. Oh, VLC, you got Team Viewer as well. You can install that. Uh, music players. Uh, but it's not all about locally installed apps, and that's what people really kind of get confused about these. I think, oh, I can't, I can't have a Chromebook because I need to install this, that, and the other. And you don't because for the most part, there are web-enabled versions of most of the tools that you need now. So Office is no longer a locally installed product, so you can ignore the whole of Office now. Um, so here you go, you can see this computer, this laptop, this Chromebook is not very powerful. It's got an Intel Celeron 2.6 gigahertz dual core because there's only two cores there uh, processor and it's running like that and it's got about four gig of RAM and it's online. Now, what people may not realize is um, that if you've got an old laptop kicking around, you can use windows obviously if you've got windows installed or you can get from neverware you can get cloud ready what cloud ready is basically is the chrome operating system uh which you can install really easily onto a laptop or any other device now there's various different chrome um devices out there so you got you can have chrome boxes which is like a little miniature um pc with the Chrome OS, and like like I'm doing now, for 99% of people out there now, 
the Chrome OS is fine. You don't need to worry about antivirus. You don't need to worry about pop-ups and, and stuff being installed on your laptop that you, you really don't want or need. Everything is web-based. And to be honest, you know, if you do need an app, then you can either use, like here, that Gmail there, that's not an app. That's just a link to the website, uh, the Gmail website. That's not an app. It's just a link to the Google Docs file manager yes okay that's an app youtube's just a link to youtube and so on there's messages so i can interface with my android phone so you install cloud ready which is a chrome operating system and it will install basically you can stick a usb stick in the side of your laptop and off you go now here is one i made earlier so we have got in the background here oop, uh, we've got a windows laptop and you can see here it's got Windows Pro on it, or it was installed with Windows Pro, and it's a Dell i7. And here it is. So basically what I've done, I've downloaded the free, completely free by the way, Cloud Ready um, Operating, or Cloud Ready Installer from the Neverware website, and here it is. So this is the same again, this is a Chrome operating system, but on a Dell Inspiron 13 5000 series here. And because this Dell inspire on it can be used as a sort of a tablet or it, you know you can flip it backwards this screen and it's a touch screen as well so look i can i can use a screen everything works on here that you would expect so we've got the brightness of the screen up here all those buttons work that's fine we've got the touch sensitive screen works fine i can click on the stories they load up the benefits of using a laptop that you may have knocking around that you don't necessarily want windows on is that you get the power so if i go into that cog system viewer again here we've got eight processors eight cores one two three four are in use here there's another four down here uh, it's just the way the cpu operates so it's not very busy right now so it shut down half of the course it's got an intel core i7 processor 1.8 gigahertz right now and it's uh got 16 gigabytes of ram so it's far more powerful than the chromebook over there chromebook's brilliant great on battery life i love lumping them around when i'm um, sort of covering events etc because they just last and last and last and you don't really mind too much if you lose one of these it's 90 pounds at the end of the day yes that's a lot of money but it's a lot less than the you know a thousand pound apple mac or whatever that people are carrying around so here on this one you can see you've got the dual core processor if we just focus in on it anyway it would have uh, and then on here we've got the uh octa core eight core uh 16 gigabyte of ram and you can see here the internal display is a higher resolution uh it's um it's also got information on the battery level. But anyway, it's a, this is a Windows P, a, a traditional Windows PC, uh, but it's now running a Chrome operating system. And I love it because we've got all the stuff here. But the, the benefit of having the Neverware uh, cloud ready, and I'm just going to go to it again. Basically, here it is. So never, Neverware cloud ready. So it goes to neverware.com. Cloud ready turns any computer into a chrome device that's what it does and also in this you've got an added extra benefit in that you can install linux on here because chrome basically sits on top of linux so you can fire up linux which you can't always do on all chromebooks and you can go straight into the uh, back end of the of the laptop itself and you can do all your linuxy stuff and it fires up it installs and here it is comes up as penguin and i can do all my linux stuff top you can see how busy it is stuff like that so it's it's a linux box basically is what it is but we've got a nice friendly operating system on top of the chrome os we can pop up here and i can see you've got the usual stuff chromium browser which is uh <coughs> chrome effectively that you know and love you've got the web store got spotify i've broken the icon on here but i can fire up the spotify these applications by the way like spotify come from Sorry, just pausing the video while I find it. But yeah, you can go to flatpack.org. And basically, it means that you can... Um, so you install Flatpak, uh, and you basically can then install Flatpak applications onto the Chrome OS using the Linux compatibility 
layer. Now there's loads of flat pack um, applications. So it, it basically gives you, and I'm going off at a tangent here, but it means that you can get apps on Linux installed really easily. There's a, there's a whole range of apps here and I've installed that Spotify one here, but you get some other apps that you can install onto your Chromebook if you want, if you're using this Neverware um, cloud ready version. So basically, let's not get too complicated. Yes, you can install these extra apps and yes, you can start digging into your Linux stuff, but let's not frighten away everybody else because it's basically the Chrome laptop that I was using over there, but now I get the benefit of more horsepower. I've got an i7 and I get the benefit of touchscreen because the laptop is touchscreen. I can see my Chrome RDP session there. I can go into my uh, RDP into servers and stuff. I've got VirtualBox on here. Uh, what else? I can install loads of other bits and bobs. Um, again, I can still use the um, Office 365, office.com. I can log into there. I can um, you know, use all the products that you would normally use, uh, Outlook and Excel and stuff. I can use Google Docs and I can do stuff like that. And you can, basically, it is a much, much faster Chromebook. Um, and I do like this. This is, gonna, this is my new sort of, uh, my new puppy. It's an i7 powered Chromebook is what it is basically. Um, so instead of buying a hugely expensive Pixel, which I would love to do, I've got an old Windows laptop with an i7 processor and a whacked Chrome OS on there, which takes literally minutes. It takes literally minutes with never way. You plumb it in the side. It says, do you want to install? Yes, bang, it does it. Um, and I've got a very, very fast, clutter-free, pain-free operating system. I don't need to patch and update and worry about pop-ups and antivirus. And it just does what I want it to do. So I've just been showing you really around... Um, what I use to write the site, and this is it. Basically, it's a Dell Inspiron 13 5000 series, and it's got an i7 processor, and it runs a Chrome OS, and it does it very, very well indeed, and I'm extremely happy with the results.